Okay, I have to make this video as quickly as possible. My family is trying to set me up to be murdered right now uh, with Cynthia and everybody uh, for money. So first of all, why did I, I gotta tell y'all why, why I gotta make this video so quickly because Austin got some girl or they on my channel posing like Austin's girlfriend and they're getting under my videos and saying that uh, Austin is about to have the police come and arrest you. And this is the same Montgomery County Jail where they threatened to cut my tongue out and where they done took my baby and Cynthia was doing the rituals, showing me these officers forcing my baby uh, to give Austin oral sex with devil horns on because I shot Austin in the leg and he's white. I gotta calm down. I have to calm down because I won't be able to give y'all all the information. Um, so first of all, I'm gonna show y'all my stomach. I'm pregnant with this same baby uh, that they was trying to kill me, uh, pregnant with this baby in the jail. And they were doing a ritual with my family to murder me and lie and say that I was not pregnant. Um, and then destroy the evidence because Austin was white um, and then to molest my son. So first of all, Cynthia is trying to kill Melbourne for insurance money. Uh, Lord Jesus, Father God, help me please, because give me the words to speak, because the entire country is trying to set me up to be murdered right now, pregnant with this baby. I've been carrying it for three years. So Larissa and Shakina are trying to set me up to be killed right now with Cynthia Overa. But first of all, let me tell you, uh, that my sister Larissa Jones is setting me up to be murdered right now. My sister Shakina Jones is setting me up to be murdered right now right now this very moment that they're having these people threaten me uh and say that they're gonna bring me into this jail and that so i'm gonna just leave that at that they're threatening me and saying that they're gonna come and arrest me right now pregnant like this in this condition after nobody has come to help me you ain't seen none of my family in any of my videos helping me right so that should be the clue or the evidence for that you ain't seen none of my family allowing them to bring me in their home they stole my identification and plan on giving my clean record id birth certificate social to another black woman and have her walking around saying that that's me my name is andrea jones my social is three five nine eight four one eight zero seven my id number is three nine one six two zero seven zero my date of birth is December 21st, 1990, because they're going so far as to, I don't have any criminal record other than the fact that they tried to charge me for protecting myself and dropped the charges. I had my background checked. I don't have anything. And it's people that want my identity because that's very precious when you got a clean record and all of that. But that's not the main thing I need y'all to understand right now. Larissa is setting me up to be killed right this moment with the women from the courthouse in Conroe, Texas, where they had the evidence that Austin was abusing me and that, I, and, that I'm, and that I'm pregnant. They had the evidence that I was pregnant. When I came into jail, there was a doctor that confirmed I was pregnant in the jail. There was a nurse that confirmed I was pregnant and they still had all the hospitals lie and say I wasn't. And they had my family leaving me in there. But let me just go into details about what they are trying to do, okay? I need to get this black so I can calm down because I'm going to keep making the videos until the police pull up to try to arrest me and I'm not letting them take me nowhere. So they're going to uh, they're gonna kill me out here like this. And my family is setting it up for them to do this to me because, see, they be killing a lot of people in America like this and they've been getting money for their family death and acting like they didn't know about it. And I'm not going to let my family do that to me. See, some people, they do not have the courage or they didn't know how to come out and speak. But God said it's because my God is Jehovah. I'm going to go ahead and tell them that my family is setting me up to be murdered before I'm murdered. That way, they can't come out and lie and say that they did not know uh, or they, they gonna, they're trying to Jane Doe me. Uh, investigator Jim McDougal said that they're trying to have, cut my body up 
and leaves me in the woods uh, for an unknown detective to have another detective find me and say that I didn't have no identification on me, I didn't have no social, there was nothing to identify who I was, and I'm pregnant, and then uh, I don't know what they tried. They said they were going to cut the baby out of me without any sort of anesthesia, and that they were going to make Melbourne, my four-year-old son, cut the baby out of me. But they also said that they were going to rape him and kill him as well, um, and torture me by making my own baby stab me and cut my baby. That's not the part I want to get into because these are Satanists. Oh, oh Lord. Hold on, y'all. Just bear with me, y'all, because my family is setting me up to be murdered, and I need y'all to know why, and I need y'all to know what they finna get up out of it, and, and why they doing it, and how they don't have really have a right to be doing it, and I am so upset with my family. Cynthia told me that, that, uh, that there was gonna be people that if they found out the truth about everything, that they was gonna shoot up. Cynthia said they was gonna shoot her up, and she said these people was going for doing for molesting my son. She said they was gonna shoot up Joseph, Austin, Larissa, and my entire family if they don't kill me and cut my tongue out and my son's tongue out and his eye out because he old enough to talk, he old enough to tell you everything. You know what I'm saying? If if, if given the opportunity in the right environment, and uh, they threatened to kill us and um, try to stop the truth from coming out. Cynthia said, if the truth come out that they did this to me and my child and my children, she said that uh, they would be shot up and that, uh, that that's the people who found out that's in power will shoot them up and kill them. Not me, but other people that don't stand for letting hundreds of men molest a little boy and then torture a pregnant woman for 36 months and then cut her body up and have her whole family knowing about it. And that's what they're trying to do. That's why they've been leaving me outside and trying to stop me from having my hair done so y'all wouldn't believe me or come help me, you know, uh, and then trying to have my ID stolen, transporting me from place to place, not letting me in the shelters because they're trying to go through with a murder and they're trying to do it from the Montgomery County Jail or Harris County Jail or they might not even bring me to a jail um, because they know that I'm going to resist them because they're trying to set me up to be murdered so they trying to kill this baby right now. And they know it's not dead and they know I've been smoking. And if y'all see how much I've been smoking, they've been making me smoke packs of fucking cigarettes knowing that I'm pregnant. And all the black men in America is setting me up for them to cut my body up like this. And y'all see me telling the man, they acting like they don't even know I got a YouTube channel, by, but they got Austin in them posting comments, and I'm about to post the comments that they put, and they trying to stop me from telling y'all everything, so they trying to hurry up and have Austin in them say that I'm threatening him. I'm all the way over here. But they got them over there trying to say that Andrea is going to shoot Cynthia. I need to tell y'all about what my family is about to get. Uh, my family is about to be rich in America, and we come from the south side of Chicago and Sweet Home, Arkansas, and if y'all know anything about those hoods, they broke as hell, and they about to be rich as hell for killing me. So I need y'all to just bear with me real quick uh, because, um, okay, I'm gonna tell y'all about the, the visions that God showed me. Um, and what Cynthia told me about them being shot up, uh, she said that uh, that they that they were gonna kill and shoot up my whole family um, because they had me in the cell doing the ritual with Cynthia when she was saying that she was gonna kill this rat in my belly, a baby, and they was all doing the ritual with her, and it was Satanism. And then she they was with her when I they was doing the ritual with her when I was in the back of the cell when Cynthia was showing me the ritual of them letting hundreds of men make my baby kill them or was. Um, and then saying they were going to sodomize him to death. All right? So uh, let me calm down because I had uh, wanted to tell y'all all the information as quickly as I could. But I had a vision. Okay, Larissa it had, was charged with child abuse. My sister Larissa that's setting me up to be murdered right now, she, is, she was charged with child abuse in DeKalb County, Georgia, um, the same year... 
that uh, Austin was getting out of prison, I believe, in 2016. And her baby went to the hospital three months old in DeKalb County, Georgia, with a busted eye vessel and a fractured rib, and they said his stomach was hard. I don't know if this was true or not, but she was charged with child abuse. And um, they, these people are sexually abusing their children. God was showing me La Larissa's oldest son, who was in South Carolina, with her, his daddy named Scott. She, he was showing me, uh, or he's in South Carolina or North Carolina, and they uh, been letting Dion live down there with Scott for a long time. And when they had me in there and was saying they was molesting my son, God was showing they was trying to make it, set it up to make it look like it was a black man that had attacked me in the restaurant and that my son was black and then and my son is black and white. And then he was showing Dion walking uh, at the same age that my son is now, about four years old, walking and limping, and some, somebody had went up his butt. God was showing me that they had molested Dion and that they was trying to do, that, do the same thing to my son, make them walk around uh, little kids knowing that they had been doing stuff to their butts. And the way they were walking, uh, God was showing me uh, that Dion was walking severely uh, as if somebody had done something real bad to his butt. And it was at the age where he would not have really known what was going on or really know how to tell you because he's old enough now to say that nobody never did that to him. My daddy ain't never did that to me. Nobody never did that to me. But they might, he might would tell you something if taken out of that environment. Dion is different. He'll, he'll be like, oh, well, there was one time and I remember this, you know what I'm saying? But he'll, right, he's very smart and he'll be like, oh no, my dad ain't never did nothing to me or my mom ain't never did nothing to me. But God was showing me that it was at an age where he would not be able to really remember uh, those things. And then that my son was at the age when they had me in there to do it to him as well. And, Melby was two, three years old. He was not old and he would not remember how to tell you, oh, somebody stuck something up my butt. He wouldn't even damn remember it. You know what I'm saying? Um, maybe they do remember or do recall. But let me tell you about the video, what, I, what God showed me about Shakina. Uh, he showed me the Black Freemasons and Shakina going to give her oldest daughter Carson to be molested by grown black men um, in the uh, Black Freemason uh, coven that's also setting my child up to be molested and said they was going to rape my baby to death because I shot a white man in this country. So I was at Shakina's home. Shakina set me up to be murdered from her home when I was released from the jail and the baby was still alive in me. Shakina set me up to go with gang members, uh, told me to leave her home and then she said that she couldn't feel that I was pregnant and you could see the baby moving in my stomach and she put me out of her home as soon as I was released and made me go with gangs of black men that was raping me and starving me from location to location until the custody hearing and then Judge Tracy said Cynthia could keep my son and they're setting me up to be murdered right now because they said that I'm the first black woman to shoot a white man in America in self-defense. And the whites are willing to pay a lot of money to have me dead. So, uh, I, I, when I was at Shakina's house, her daughter Carson asked me, Auntie, can I see your notebook? Cause y'all know I be writing songs. And it was a new notebook. I almost told her no, but then I just draw, uh, put it on a page that was blank and said, here, go ahead and draw, you know, you can draw my notebook. She said, can I draw in your notebook? And then when she handed me the notebook, she did it in secret from her mama. And then I looked at the notebook and it had titties. She drew pictures of breasts and pictures of an all seeing eye. She, uh, she put pictures of a child being scared like this. And then she drew a picture of a pyramid. And then she handed it to me. Here you go, auntie. And then I didn't pay no attention to it. But when I went to go write in my notebook and I started turning the pages, that's when I saw what my niece drew and I knew what she was trying to tell me because I already knew what God showed me about Shakina and that she was setting me up for black men to molest my child when I was in the cell and she was doing these rituals with Cynthia and they were showing me uh, visions of, the, of them molesting my child with hundreds of uh, white men. And then they got 
my little sister Shakina Jones. They got them setting me up to make my hair look bad, makeup, keep me dirty, everything while I'm putting out the information. And they got Shakina up on her Facebook page in the witch hat, professional looking makeup done, might have did it herself. But um, they got her in black and white Illuminati colors. And she's smiling, acting like she's living it up while they out here doing this to me, thinking that's gonna discredit me from telling about her involvement. And uh, Shakina, let me tell you what everybody gonna get out of it. And then I seen a vision, first of all, of my father when I was in the jail, putting uh, candy, uh, having candy in his underwear that they had him at Andrew Jones at a house with Austin and they had my son in the home with them while I was in the jail or while I was being transported around with people trying to set me up to be murdered and Andrew I went inside of the home there was a black woman trying to stop me from finding out that they had been living with Austin that Drew had been in the same home as Austin at some point through this ordeal um, since the shooting and they've been setting me up this entire time like this from the jail and with different black men and I haven't seen my son or really none of my family to help me and God when I in the vision I saw I, when the girl didn't want to let me go in the house and I went inside and I saw that Austin had been staying in the room but he wasn't there and there was another black man there and he was there and then Drew had been staying in the room and there was uh Drew's boxers and God made me pick them up and I saw uh, candy in his underwear uh, and it was to make my child give Andrew Jones oral sex my, and he has herpes and, um, and that's how they were getting my baby to give uh, Andrew oral sex in the vision and Andrew is letting them about to kill me with this baby in me and uh, never let me see my son again and I gotta hurry and post this and hurry up and do part two because uh, my grandma my Irma Marshall is posing as a Christian and is allowing them to about to set my son up. Cynthia is trying to kill Melby for an insurance policy and then she's trying to re 